Hi everyone, Janie here. Welcome back. I am so excited for today's video. It's a family affair. It's a community affair. Oh, it's I've been waiting. We have a big project going on today and tomorrow, and that is the school garden makeover. We are at my daughter's elementary school right now, and we, along with Vigo Garden Beds, Hoselink, and Espoma, we are making over the school garden, which I'm so excited about. So I got this idea because Vigo Garden Beds, I work with Vigo, um, I have their raised beds, and a lot of you have purchased their raised beds through my link. And what Vigo does, they have this giving back program where they donate to the community, whether it's a community garden or a school garden. Um, for every 50 Vigo beds sold, they will donate another bed to the community and you just have to apply. Like all of you can apply for your schools and your community as well. But because you guys, because you ordered those beds through my link, I was able to convince them to send me five Vigo garden beds, like big ones and a bunch of accessories to be able to make over the kids, the kids school garden. And it's just, I'm just so excited about it because they need it. It's a beautiful garden. They have wonderful garden volunteers here, but you can see it's a little, it's a little rough around the edges. It's a little overrun with weeds. And so it's just going to help so, so very much to have those garden beds. So a huge thank you to Vigo and Vigo also really feel strongly in, they call it Vigo Kids. They really emphasize teaching kids to garden, teaching kids the importance of growing your own vegetables, all that kind of stuff. Um, so this was right, this project was right up their alley. So it was a really easy, it was easy to convince them. <laughs> so very exciting. I'll show you all tomorrow about um, Espoma and about Hoselink because this is definitely going to be a two-day project. We have about 15 garden volunteers coming to help us. So it it is going to be, I feel like with that many hands, it's not going to be that hard of a project, but you know, I never, <laughs> I never know. Uh, and I have a bunch of soil being delivered later today to fill the garden beds. Not this week, but next week, the school has garden week where the kids are going to come and they're going to plant all the plants and all that kind of stuff. So it's just absolutely perfect timing for everybody. And I just, I couldn't be happier. So it's early in the morning. What I want to do is I want to give you all a before tour of the garden area. Um, and then you can see what, what we do. And then, and then I'll show you after, of course, you know, once we get to the after point, we got a lot of work to do. So there's basically two parts to the garden. Over here, I'll show you this in a minute. Uh, this is the main area. They have a cute little fence over there. This is where most of, like when the kids go for garden time during class, this is the area that they go to because it's the most cleaned up um, and the most, um, I don't know, most attention has been paid to this area. We are going to be putting one garden bed in this area back here. And what it's going to be is that it's going to be an extra tall, accessible garden bed for all the children that have mobility issues. Courtney, who I work with, you all know Courtney, um, her daughter has mobility issues. And so it's perfect for her. She's the one who's like, we have to do this for the other kids. Um, so you'll see it's an extra tall bed and we're going to make it really easy for them to get to and to be able to reach into and and be able to participate in gardening. So I'll go over there in a second, but I want to show you this gratitude garden first. This is the main area um, that we're going to be working on because it definitely needs definitely needs the most work. It's it's a little triangle area right there goes like that. Uh, this is the gardening shed. There's been a lot of work done to it and they've done a really really good job. You know they have some lavender growing here. Um, they have some beautiful sweet peas and some Swiss chard. I was talking to Kelly. Kelly is the main garden coordinator, garden volunteer. I'll introduce you to her in a little bit once she gets here, but she's done a really, really good job. She did say this is kind of where they put a lot of their compost. So some things have just kind of grown. You can see these weeds over here are almost as tall as I am, <laughs> but there's still some really pretty stuff in here. So I'm going to, I want to try and save a lot of it, but you know, we'll kind of see, is this borage? I think that's borage. That's cool. Um, I want to kind of see what we can save, but like, like this is all weeds, <laughs> you know? So we brought, we brought weed whackers. We have mulch coming. 
Um, this is where one really big U-shaped Vigo bed is going to go. And then we have three other ones. And then the really cute thing is um, it's in the school colors. The school colors are dark green and gold. And Vigo Gardens actually have those colors. So it's just perfect. So you can see there are some plants. We're going we're gonna to kind of work around that and basically just clean the area up. But basically, you can see the before shot of what this area looks like. It's very cute. It definitely needs a little bit of work. Okay, now let me take you over this way. So this is the main part of the school. This is the quad. Sadie's classroom is over there. She's in fifth grade. So here's the garden. This is the garden where, you know, like class takes place here, where kids can learn about vegetables and growing and the the seed cycle, plant cycle and all that fun stuff. Isn't that cute little scarecrow? Um, so this is obviously has a lot more attention paid to it. So I didn't really feel the need to really do too much over here. I mean, look at what a good job they've done. How beautiful. And all these strawberries here. And the girls tell me they come and they get to pick strawberries and carrots when they grow them and all that fun stuff. They do a really, really good job. So there's really gorgeous raised beds, wood raised beds here, and they're low for the kids to get into. Um, you know, they've done a great job and it's obviously being well used. Look at the sunflower. That's exciting. Um, so... We talked to Hoselink to see if they'd be willing to help us out because of this mess. And they said, absolutely. So they donated an 82 foot charcoal hose link that we're going to hook to right there, which I'm so excited about because how good will it be to get rid of this? I mean, for the kids and all that kind of stuff. So very excited about that. Look at what a good job they've done. I haven't seen this in a while. Gosh, they've done such a good job. And then these raised beds over here. So you can see they're doing great with their beds, but we need some taller beds for accessibility for the kids. So I think we're going to do, gosh, maybe like over here, like right here, we're going to do like one of the really, the extra tall beds, the beds that I have in my garden so that someone like Avery, Courtney's daughter, who has trouble walking can easily, you know, get over to it, maybe in a wheelchair or helping, you know, someone helping her out and then she can stand and then she can garden which is really what we want. So that's the main thing that we're going to do in this area is kind of maybe maybe just clean it up a little bit, get a new hose, and then have um, a, an accessible bed for the kids. So I am just beyond excited to get this project going. It is something we've been working on for a couple months now, me and Courtney, and um, I just, I'm so excited that the day is finally here because I've been telling the girls, like, we're making over the garden, we're making over the school garden, you know, and they they recognize it, but they have no idea what we're going to do. It's going to be so beautiful. So we are just waiting for the rest of the volunteers to show up. We're going to get started. Um, again, a huge, huge thank you to Vigo and to Espoma and, uh, and to Hoselink. You guys are so awesome to be able to like allow us to do something so amazing like this. And I just want to encourage all of you to check out the programs that they have. Vigo, the giving back program go apply, go apply for your community. It's amazing for every 50 garden beds sold. We get, we get a free bed for the community. And they, I asked for the big expensive beds and they gave them to me. So <laughs> we also got a ton of accessories as well, like composters and like worm, worm composting type stuff. So it, it's going to be great. I'm so excited. <music>
it's been a couple hours thus far and we are getting so much stuff done with this many helpers these volunteers and they work really really hard we it's going so fast so let me turn the camera on and let me show you everything that we've gotten done thus far where do i even start first of all look at all the cleanup that has happened the volunteers came in and just i mean took everything out we got all these weeds out i shouldn't even say we because i've been doing the vigo beds the whole time but look at this look at how many weeds all hand pulled all fantastic so great so there it's all ready to go we did leave wildflowers a bunch of wildflowers kelly who is in charge of she's like the volunteer coordinator volunteer garden coordinator she was saying no keep that no keep that and so we're kind of working around everything like the sweet peas here we're working around that once we get this tall bed filled with soil and over here, we're gonna be transplanting the sweet peas. Hopefully they do okay. Um, so yeah, so all this area is all cleaned out. It's all leveled, which was kind of a big deal because the beds need to sit on a level, somewhat level surface. And so we got it all leveled out and now we're just finishing putting together all the beds. So let me show you that. So we are configuring most of them. Again, these are the 10 in one um, di with different heights. So when you purchase a 10 in one, Vigo garden bed. You basically have 10 different ways that the, the bed can go. Oh, this is the trellis here. You can basically choose all 10 of those ways or any one of these ways for the bed to be. If you get the nine in one bed, you have nine options. If you get the six in one, you have six options and so on and so on. So we decided to do nine and a half feet long and two and a half feet wide. And you can kind of see over here, we went from short, the 11 inch, middle size, the 17 inch, and then the back one, which I wanna say 32 inch, but now I'm forgetting. I think I'm pretty sure it's 32 inch. And then the tall one in the back is gonna have the big trellis and that's where we're gonna transplant the sweet peas to kind of grow up the trellis and cover this air, this little piece of board right there. And it's going to be so pretty. The soil is getting delivered any minute now. So we're kind of waiting for it. And then, Kelly and her mom are working on this bed right here. This bed is the accessible bed that we are going to put right here, right along the sidewalk. So basically the kids can come, they can walk up or they can wheel up and they can reach in the bed very, very easily. The volunteers have been weeding everything. It looks so good. They are so fast and no wonder this garden looks amazing <laughs> because they do this. It's, it's really, really neat. Okay. I want to take a real quick break just so I can introduce you to someone very special to this whole project. Her name is Kelly Joseph, and she is the person in charge of this whole thing. She is the boss. She has taken on the job of garden coordinator for this elementary school, and she is complete volunteer, no money. She works hard to get funding raised for the gardening program at this school. And she does such a fantastic job. I know what a big deal it is um, and how much work and how much time goes into it. And I just appreciate it so much. But Kelly also has kind of her foot in a lot of different projects for gardening for our community. And I wanted I wanted her to tell you about them because there's just so many, I don't wanna miss any of them. All right, everyone, I wanna introduce you to Kelly Joseph. Hi, Kelly. Hello. First off, I wanna thank you for everything that you do for our school. You and our community, honestly, you are amazing. Thank you. When I first met you, it was like, you do all that? Just you? <laughs> So tell us a little bit. First off, tell me, tell us what you do with the school. So with the school, I've been the garden coordinator for the last three years now, going on four. Um, I was brought in just after we all came back from COVID. Uh -huh. um, so the garden had been overgrown for about a year at that point. So we, we had quite a mess on our hands. Yeah. Um, so a lot of it was just getting it back in working order. And then ever since we've had the kids out, um, we do all of the grades from TK through third grade, um, which I realized TK is a California thing. So that's Oh, like, is it? Yeah. Oh, so, I didn't know that. Okay. So anyone outside of California might not know what TK is, but it's basically like preschool. So it'll be fourth, four year olds up through uh, like 10, 10 ish year olds. Right. So we have them out every other week. 
um, with their classrooms and we do all sorts of activities. Um, I write all of our lessons and lead a lot of it, but we also have about 50 volunteers. And so I also coordinate all the volunteers to make sure we have people for every class so that it's reliable for the teachers and everybody expects, you know, to be in the garden at least every other week mm -hmm. for about 30 minutes. Um, Which and we, is huge. I it's mean, huge. <laughs> that is so huge that you do that. And this is not your job, right? Oh no, yeah. So it's all volunteer. Mm -hmm. So I call myself a professional volunteer. <laughs> yes. I think that's a good description for you. Oh uh, yeah. Cause it, it is a lot of work. Um, but you know, it's just one of those things that you just see such benefit for the kids and yeah. like and the teachers as well they really buy into what we're doing and they've been hugely supportive um you know taking time out of the classrooms to be out here you Absolutely. know is a big sacrifice for them but they obviously see the value in it so it's just... important it's important to teach these kids these things yeah exactly and we do all sorts of stuff um, my big thing for our programs for all the stuff i do is that i want the kids to be hands-on leaders making the decisions figuring it out on their own um, we just kind of act like guides for them, uh -huh. you know, so we create the space for them to really make it their own space. And you're so good with the kids. Oh, thanks. You're incredible with the kids. <laughs> okay, I want you, I, I, can you please talk about the purple coop? Tell us what the purple coop is, <laughs> please, please. Okay, so the purple coop is kind of a, a place where I can capture all the different projects I'm working on. Uh -huh. So in addition to doing the school program and all of the lessons I'm writing for that, I also do a program through the city. I do some after school programs. So I created the Purple Coop as kind of a place to house all of those different entities uh -huh. and to try and hopefully reach even more people. So I try to put lessons up there, um, course materials. A lot of it's up there for free because uh -huh. I just believe in kids being out in the garden. So I just want it to be free, but um, there are some materials on there you can also buy like two or three bucks right um just inexpensive things so I that you can do exactly. this in your own community right exactly yeah yeah so i want it to just spread and take over which I is incredible like it'll have such a huge benefit for everybody so do you have funding for the pur purple coop uh no kelly how do we help you do you have <laughs> Do you have like a donation site? Do you have a GoFundMe? Do you have a buy me a coffee thing? What, okay. So, how can we help you? <laughs> for one, um, you can sign up for my newsletter and follow along and get free resources and updates on our program. And that helps you? And that helps me just to have more people on board um, and, you know, spread the mission. That's like rule number one. Uh -huh. um, but if you want to actually fund any of the stuff we're doing, I have a buy me a coffee on my website mm -hmm. and that just goes directly to me um even five bucks would be huge yeah this, this is definitely an ad hoc sort of yeah you know make it work kind of thing and uh we're also setting up a gofundme okay to see if you can if anyone wants to donate that way that right would hugely helpful. which would be huge and the amounts of money that you've been talking about to me that you're so thankful for is not that much right <laughs> and so every little bit helps and i just want to make sure that i hope so many people in our community see this and then if anybody else wants to help kelly out it helps all these yes. kids learn about gardening which is so fantastic and so admirable and thank you so much thank you. so i am going to put the purple coops website down in the description down below so you just go right under the video click more and then you'll find her website and on there is where you will find uh, her gofundme page page and her uh, buy me a coffee page and if you want to buy any of the any of the resources, any of the resources. Of too. yeah like I said I give away a lot for free just yeah I want people to be out there doing it you give away your time for free I mean that <laughs> is what you like you are a professional volunteer and you do so much for our community and I hope you get recognized more than just this random YouTube video <laughs> It's very nice. <laughs> well, thank you so much, <laughs> Kelly. Thank you. I really appreciate it.
All right, we are at the end of day one. We got so much done today, so much more than I thought we would get done today. I am so, so happy with our progress. And the kids, they worked so hard. They were participating almost the whole day, which I thought they were gonna be playing on the playground the whole day, but they did really good. So I promised them that I would take them to IHOP. So we are off to IHOP after this. I think we're gonna go home and, and clean up and then go to IHOP. But we got all the beds put together and up and almost full. Let me turn the camera around and show you. All right, look at this. Look at how good it looks. Oh my goodness. So again, the, the school colors here are dark green and gold. And so the Vigo beds that I chose, this is called British green. They have it in British green. The green that I have in my garden is called olive green. But look at at this bed. This is the coolest thing ever. I thought it was just going to be kind of like a yellow, but it's almost like a faux wood bed. This is called golden oak. And when we opened the package up, all of us were like, ooh, so excited about it. So really, really pretty. And it fits with the colors perfectly. And then finally, we have the tall, the extra tall bed and the trellis on the back. And what we did, Kelly has been carefully transplanting all the sweet peas that were growing in this spot. And she transplanted them back there and painstakingly tied them up this trellis that hooks onto this bed. And it just looks beautiful. It needs a little bit of water right now, but that's okay. They should, they should bounce back. No problem. So yeah, I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. We did put half inch tubing in underneath so that we can hook it up to drip. And then I forgot to show you this one. Look at this bed. So this is one of the big Vigo beds. I've actually never put one of these together. Look at that, how fun. And can you imagine the kids just kind of all around it? Kelly can be right there telling everybody what to do. It's going to be perfect. And then we were planning a mural on the shed and we were thinking of like a big sunflower kind of leaning over this way. So yeah, so very exciting. Again, this is the British green and it's in the 17 inch tall. And this one is the standard size. It comes in standard and then like extra large and then even larger than that. So this is the smallest size and it's it's still absolutely huge. All right, let me show you one more. All right, and then the last one. This one I'm actually the most excited about because this one we are going to put right along the sidewalk, like I was saying, so the kids that have mobility issues can get right up to it. We haven't we haven't filled it with soil yet, so that's the last thing that we have to do. Um, and then the beds will be all full and ready to go. So this one is good to go for all the kids that need a little bit of extra help. Again, this is in the British green extra tall. Then I'm gonna do a before shot right now, but you can see how much the garden volunteers did. They cleaned out all these beds. We put some more compost in the beds. Look at the beautiful flowers in the full sun. Now that it's kind of cleared up a little bit. It just looks, it looks so pretty. So this, look at this. This is the goal tomorrow. Do something about this mess. And then one last look at the gorgeous snapdragons. Look at how good they look. So one last huge thank you to Vigo Garden Beds for donating these beautiful, beautiful beds. And just a reminder of the giving back program for every 50 beds that are purchased, Vigo will donate one bed to either a school project or a community project, whatever it is, you just go on their website and you apply and it's a great, great program. So a huge thank you to all of you that have purchased Vigo beds. If you're interested, interested in purchasing another Vigo bed so I can do more projects like this, I will put my link down in the description down below. They're great beds, I love them them and they're a good company. That's why I like, I like to support, you know, good companies. So another huge thank you to Espoma. I don't remember if I, I don't think I said this to you guys, but they wanted, Espoma wanted to donate all the soil. But the problem is, is that shipping was kind of a mess and it was, uh, it was kind of an issue and we couldn't change the day that we were doing this volunteer thing and they could, the earliest they could get us the soil was this upcoming week. So instead they gave me a gift certificate to buy a lot of that soil. And so I just want to say another huge thank you to Espoma. They're another great company that likes to support things like this. Stay tuned for tomorrow. We're getting hose link up. It's gonna be great. So I hope you all enjoyed this and I hope you all have a chance to get in your garden today.